Hello everybody and welcome back to my video blog. I'm Mario Giganti, author of the book The Retirement Bullseye, where I give plant sponsors proven strategies to help their employees save more now, invest wisely, and retire on time with a paycheck for life. Today I want to talk about something that we've coined the opt-out 401k plan. Before I get into the metrics and what the opt-out 401k plan is all about, what I want to help you understand is what you can get you in trouble and ultimately how to keep you out of it. And I want to go through a scenario that you might be able to think about of what might happen 10, 20, or 30 years from now. You see, when I look at how many employees and the clients that we work with that are on track to replace their income before retirement, during retirement, it's typically around 20%, which I think you'd agree is a pretty low number. So how do we take that 20 and maybe make it 80? So again, as, I, as you think about a scenario that might happen in the future, I want you to consider that fact, and then I'll bring it back to what the opt-out 401k plan uh, really means to you. So let's say an employee is about two years away from retirement, and they go to meet with their financial advisor, and the financial advisor tells them that they need $500,000 in order to replace their pre-retirement income in retirement. And for many people, it's actually probably more than that. And they only have $300,000 in that plan. And they come back to you and say, you know what, I don't think you helped me save enough. I don't think you helped me understand um, whether or not I need to increase my contributions. And maybe you provided them good investment options, but maybe not the best path of how to use them. And then finally, they never knew that they might not be on track because there was no metrics to be able to help share that with them. So let's, before I go back and talk about opt-out 401k, let's go back and talk about what happens today. It's really what we call an opt-in 401k plan. And in an opt-in 401k plan, you ask the employee when they're eligible whether they want to contribute. Um, there's really no metrics to help them understand they need to increase their contributions over time. And you give them a list of options for them to make investment choices and maybe some education around that. Now let's turn that on its head and let's talk about what the opt-out 401k plan looks like. When your employee's eligible for the plan, we automatically enroll them. Let's say it's 6%, which is the best practice today. That every year we automatically escalate them 1% a year up to maybe 10%. Again, another best practice. And we automatically default them into the qualified default investment alternative, which is typically a target date fund that's consistent with when they're going to retire. Again, another best practice. Now, let me take that a step further. And that was for new employees. Let's talk about your existing employees, those people that have worked for you for 5, 10, 15, or 20 years. Let's say every year or every three years, you go back to them and say, for those that aren't at 6%, we're going to put you at 6%. And those that are, are between six and 10%, we're gonna start auto escalating you from six to 10. And we're gonna default you back into the qualified default investment alternative. Now, most plan sponsors, most fiduciaries will tell me, whoa, whoa, don't do that. I, I don't wanna do that to any of my employees. And I completely understand. Well, guess what? You give them notice and they can always opt out of one or all of those features. They're in complete control, but you let inertia take over and most people will allow those things to continue. And now they're in the opt out 401k plan and we can measure by doing that what, whether they're gonna be on track for a successful retirement and whether maybe we need to do even more. Okay. So if you think that's important, if you think that's something that you'd like to see how that might work in your retirement plan and even where your employees are right now on track for a successful retirement, we have a report, it's called the Plan Navigator Report where we can look at these opt-out 401k plan features. Just a few demographic data today, allow us to tell you what that picture might look like after you implement this, and then you can make a decision. We also have a program called the Right Fit Target Date Fund, or the Right Fit Qualified Default Investment Alternative, if you want to think about that, it that way. It's typically a target date fund. And we can say, based on your plan's demographics and the goals and objectives that you have, what the right target date fund might be for you. So hopefully that helped. If you have any questions, you can give us a call at 330-896-6250. You can send us an email at info at ccadvisors.com or simply respond to this video blog that you want a consultation and we'll get in touch with you to talk to you. So until next time, I want to thank you for listening. This is Mario Giganti, author of the book, The Retirement Bullseye. 
giving plant sponsors proven strategies to help their employees save more now, invest wisely, and retire on time with a paycheck for life.